Hey guys, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's Wild About Art. So today I'm drawing a picture with coloured pencils of two Australian pelicans. So I'm drawing the basic outline in with my mechanical pencil, just getting the proportions and everything where I'm happy with them. And now I've just started the colour with my polychromos and I'm popping the yellow around their eyes and now I'm going in with a light grey down the feathers of the birds. So I just take that right around the chest and then down the back of the neck of that one. So now I'm adding their pink beaks in. So I'll tell you a little bit about these birds. So these birds, they're seen everywhere uh, th throughout inland and coastal waters of Australia, New Guinea and around Indonesia. They're mostly white uh, with black wings and a pink bill and they mainly eat fish. Um, they're medium sized with a wingspan of up to about eight and a half feet uh, and they can weigh up to about 13 kilograms. Uh, these pelicans have the largest bill in the avian world, which is pretty impressive. Uh, the record size bill on one of these guys was 20 inches long or 50 centimetres long. So they're quite, well, they're a med considered a medium sized bird, but yeah, on, as far as pelican goes, they're a really large one. So yeah, so anyway, now I'm adding the colours in around his feathers. So I'm adding his black feathers around the back of both of their bodies. And they've got quite jaggedy feathers on their wings. So I've made those look quite rough around the edges. And I've added a little bit of grey around the backs of their heads. So now I'm just having a go. I'm going to add some water. I wasn't going to initially. But I thought, oh no, it needs, it needs definitely needs a water background. So I just started with a bit around their legs. And I was going to leave it there. But I thought, you know what, I need to get brave. And I need to add more water. <laughs> so I just, I go in with this and then I add the solvent and smooth it out. And I actually really like the effect. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to go and do the rest of the background. So I've added the same blue, just filled it everywhere, absolutely everywhere to complete the background. And I just slowly fill that in, take it around both of their whole bodies. And then get down to there finish her off and then I go over the whole thing with solvent and blend it all out and that makes the water look quite smooth so really impressed with the solvent and how the solvent works with coloured pencil it's very very effective and as you can see I'm just dipping the brush straight into the the bottle and and gently washing it over the whole thing then I let that dry when I've done this and I go back in and just add a few different tones of blue because the water at the front is quite dark and going into the distance it gets lighter so I'm adding the blue then darker tones through at the front and getting darker and darker as I go so that the very front of the birds is the darkest place and that also creates a contrast with the white of the pelicans bodies and then I run over all of that with some more solvent and that smooths everything out and creates a shadowy tone in the water which is really effective. I'm rather impressed with how that's going because I'm, I'm just learning these technique, techniques myself. So, yeah, so I'm having a lot of fun trying. So now I'm going over the beaks with a little bit of solvent and I'll let that dry. And then over the, the bird's bodies with a little bit of solvent as well. And it just smooths it, all the pencil lines out. Like after I'd done this, my daughter walked in and was surprised that it was a pencil drawing and not a painting. So, so it really smoothed it out. To that to that degree so yeah very very impressed um, so now I'm just doing the details of the feet in and they've got big webbed feet so I pop a little bit more detail in there and now I'm going in with a darker tone of grey just onto the body of the bird because there's a bit of shadow around that side of both of them so I'll just pop that on the top bird the standing up bird and then I'll add a little bit more detail to the sitting bird. And take that right around the shadow areas. And I'll build this up in a few layers as well. And as you can see, I've smudged the pencil just a little bit on the wing of this bird, the, the sitting bird, but it doesn't matter. I can smooth that out after. 
So now I'm just going over the darkest parts of the beak and around the eye and adding some more dark, dark, or just a dark grey around the darkest parts of the birds, both birds, to create more shadow areas. And then I'm adding a few flecks here and there to create the effect of feathers. And now I'm colouring in the rock that the standing birds sit on. And I'm just doing that in with a dark grey and a black. And now I'm just adding a little bit of detail to the webbing of the birds' feet. Put a highlight on their eyes. A bit more detail along the beak. And we're just about done. I hope you enjoyed this drawing, guys. I had an absolute ball doing a pure coloured pencil drawing. Um, yeah, I'd love it if you'd click like and subscribe and click on the bell icon and you'll get notified when I release new videos. Yeah, I look forward to sharing more videos with you guys. Have an awesome day and I'll see you then. Okay, catch you then. Bye.